Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a swap image rollover gallery. So first of all, let's have a look at what the gallery looks like. Well, it's a series of thumbnail images, and as you put your mouse over these thumbnail images, the larger image above is replaced with a larger version of the thumbnail. So it's just a nice simple hover over the thumbnails and the larger image changes to, to be displayed. So if I just close that down, uh, what we need to do is we need to, before we start, make sure that inside our root folder we have a folder which contains the images for this gallery. And you need to have small versions, in other words thumbnail size images, normally about 100 pixels by 100 pixels, and you need larger versions of those thumbnails. So for every image that you have in your gallery you're going to need two images. One is going to be a thumbnail and one is going to be a larger version of that thumbnail. So make sure you have those files prepared before you actually come in to do this exercise. Okay, then in Dreamweaver what I've done is I've got here a wrapper div uh, and on my CSS rules, you can see it's 960 pixels wide and it's been set to center in the middle of the browser window by setting the margin left and the margin right to auto. Inside of that I've then nested in a div called gallery and I'm about to put in two other divs as well. One for the large image and one for where the thumbnails are going to go. So working in live view, I'm going to come over to the insert panel window and insert a div. I want it to um, nest inside of my gallery div. So I'm going to give it a class or an ID. So I'm going to call it hashtag large. So that is going to be for where the large image is going to display. And then I'm just going to double click on the text, the placeholder text, and just type large so that I know that that div is, is there and where it is placed. Okay, the next thing to do is whilst the large div is selected, remember the large div is nested inside of the gallery div. Whilst the large div is selected, I want to, let me just make sure that is called large. I think I might have clicked off, whereas what I need to do is press return. So when you give your divs IDs like hashtag large, you need to press return. It's gonna save it in my external style sheet that I've created. So I'm just gonna press return again, that's better, okay. Right, so I've got that large div selected. I'm going to insert another div, and I want this div to go after. I don't want it to go inside the large div, which is nested inside gallery. I want it to go after the large div, but still be nested inside gallery. So I'm going to choose after. Uh, and I'm going to give this an ID, so alt free, and I'm going to call this small, because it's going to contain the thumbnails. Press enter, don't click off anywhere. So press return or enter on your keyboard, and then press return or enter again to save it into your external style sheet. Just going to double click in there and I'm just going to call that small. Okay, inside the small div I need to insert a table because that's going to hold my thumbnails. So with the small div selected I'm going to come over here and say insert a table and I want it to nest inside the small div. I've got six thumbnails, typically thumbnails are 100 pixels wide, so 6 times 100 gives me 600 pixels wide. I want it as one row going across and six columns coming down. I don't want there to be any borders, so I've set it to zero, and I don't want there to be any gaps between my thumbnails. I want them to be next to each other, so I've set the cell padding and cell spacing to zero as well. Click OK, and in goes my table. OK, I'm just going to come out of live view now and switch to design view. So you can clearly see my table here. I don't need this placeholder text for the gallery div anymore, so I'm just going to remove that. And I don't need the placeholder text for small because my actual table is sitting inside of that div, so I don't need that either. So with the large div, what I need to do here is to drag in one of the larger versions of the images. So whilst working in design view, I can switch to files, go to my gallery folder, open up large, and drag in one of the large images. Now that that's gone in, I don't need the placeholder text there saying large. Next thing to do is to then just drag in the small of the thumbnails. So I'm just going to drag them in one by one. So just drag and drop them into the table. So in they go to each cell of the table. So we'll just do that. Okay. Now there's some important things that you need to do here. First of all, when you click on your large image that you dragged in here, and you only need to drag one of them in, so we're not going to drag in any of the others, we just need one. But with that image dragged in, I need to click on it to select it, and I need to give it a unique ID. So in this case, I'm just going to call it cars, 
because that's what the image is. But it's very, very important that it does have a unique ID. So that's down here in the properties inspector with the image, larger image selected and just given an ID of cars. Okay, the next thing to do is to get these thumbnails that when we hover over them, this larger image is replaced with a bigger version of the thumbnail. To do that, you need to make sure that your behavior panel window is open in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go to the window menu, come down to behaviors, and make sure that window is open. With my thumbnail selected, I need to go to plus and do a swap image behavior. Now this is the key thing here. You must always choose for each of these thumbnails that we're about to do, you must always choose the larger image, which we named cars. So always make sure that's selected. Then you browse and find your larger version of that thumbnail. So I selected the thumbnail of cars. So the larger version for that will be the larger version cars. Okay, so I'm gonna click OK and OK, and then come back and choose the monsters one. And I'm just gonna do that swap image behavior again. So again, always clicking here to choose, this is where you want the image to be replaced. And then browse and say, what image do you want to replace that one? Well, because I'm on the monsters thumbnail, I want it to be the monsters large. So I'm gonna click open and okay. And then you just go through and do the others. So I'm just gonna do four of these. So swap image, just to give you the idea of how it works. And then it will be Nemo and we'll click open and okay. So last one, select the thumbnail, go to the plus symbol, go to swap image. Again, make sure you always choose the image cars, okay, and then browse and then pick up what the thumbnail's larger version is. In this case, it's the rat, so I'm gonna click open and okay. So now if we preview that in the browser, and we save that and save our style sheet as well, what you see is that as I roll over the images, you get this swap image behavior going on won't do the last two because I never actually did the behavior on those two I just stopped at the first four okay now you're probably thinking well how do I get all of this now to be centered well we have done some other videos on this but since this is sitting inside its own div we'll, we'll tackle the larger image first I'm just going to switch back out into live view uh, we know that this larger image is sitting in a div called large Okay, so there we go, that's the div, that's the ID that we gave it, hashtag large. I'm just gonna come over to my CSS designer window and click on the image and find out roughly how wide it is. So it's 480 pixels wide. So I'm gonna come here and for the div that is called large, I'm gonna write a CSS rule. Very simple, very similar to what we did to get the rapid div to center. I need to tell this image how big it is. So I say it's pixels. I know it's 480, but I think some of the other images I've got in this gallery are slightly bigger. So I'm just going to go for 500 pixels. And then I'm going to set it to have a margin left of auto and a margin right of auto. And when I do that, it centers the div called large inside of the gallery div. So it will center it in the gallery div. I now need to come down to this div, which is known as small, and do the same thing. Now I know that these were, the table was set to 600 pixels wide. So I'm gonna come up here and say that I want it to be 600 pixels wide. And then I know that I want it to also have a margin auto and a margin left and right auto. And that will center that div inside the gallery. So these two divs, large and small, that we nested inside gallery are now centralizing themselves inside the div gallery. And that's because we gave them a width and then we um, set their margin left and right to auto. So let's just preview in Safari and save the changes. And you can see it now looks nicely centered on the page and you can see our gallery effect working. So that's how you create a swap image rollover gallery.